welcome to my video today so um, I'm making a clock using this um, woodware stamp it's a lovely big stamp of I think it's called Tatty, De Tatty Daisies so I um, need quite a big block for this so I've got my biggest block that I can which is still not quite long enough so what I did was I took it across ways like that and then I just need to remember when I'm stamping just to turn my block so so I've already um, I've got my 10, in 10 inch base I've already drawn around it and cut out the centre so I'm going to stamp the daisies on to the um, card before I stick it down but I just wanted to show you a few different ways um, that you can decorate your stamps if you wanted to so um, you can just stamp like the centre one you can just stamp and literally just colour in the parts you want to um, this one here I've used um, a water um, pen so all I did was I pressed down on the lid of the stamp which then leaves oops, open leaves um, some ink on the top and then I just took my water pen to that and um, roughly went over I didn't even stay in the lines because I just thought it you know just it gave a nice um, watercolor effect so and finally the other way that you can do is you can see from this one I've stamped the, the uh, flower and then I've taken some um, coordinating card or paper and I stamped the flower on that and fussy cut round that one so that was making the flower and then I took the coordinating colour and just stamped again and cut out the centre and that would just sit on top glue it on and then I'd cut out the leaves um, from a, a green colour so you could um, paper piece it together as well so um, it's a few different ways that you can do it but I think today I'm going with the watercolour effect so it's quite um let's put this on the side a minute it's quite a big stamp so just need to make sure that you have plenty of ink on Oops. and then I'm just going to pop it and I want one there and it doesn't even matter if I'm stamping in the place of the numbers because they can just sit on top so you need to give it a good old press down and then carefully peel off be careful not to rock it uh, I'm just going to do that again so I'm just stamping again with the second one just taking it slightly lower than the first one there we go so it just hits slightly on the center but that's fine so um, I finished with my stamp for now I think so I'm just going to pop it to one side and then I'm going to start um, colouring so I'd already pressed that one so I'm just taking my water pen and just doing that and I'm let's say I'm not even being careful I'm just going to let it go over the the sides you can control the colour a little bit more with the the water pen um, so you just if you want it lighter you just don't pick up so much ink and leave it to go or you can pick up more ink and um, make the colour a bit deeper So there we go I've done the leaves and um, the stalks there 
so I'm just going to do the centre of um, the flowers. I'm just going to go a little bit different and do them red, I think, um, just to have a bit of a bit of a change. So I've done it. So again, I just need to take off the oops, the red off the lid. Go and just again not being over careful about the lines. I know it's instinct to want to go stay in the lines, but oh, on this one, I'm just going to spread out a little bit to give it a bit more of a effect. Just even bring a little bit of red onto the petals. Just do this side. So I just need to give this a little bit of time just to dry off before I start gluing it down. Okay, this is drying nicely, so decided I'm going to add a little butterfly uh, or a few just floating about. So I'm just going to add those. As you may notice, a couple of them I've missed the top of the wings off. So all I'm going to do is get my pen using the thinner tip, and I'm just going to draw them in. So, I'm going to give them a little bit of a, a red colour, but I'm just going to do it using um, the pen rather than watercolour it. So, we're going to be red here today. Sometimes it's nice just to go a little bit off, off track. Okay. So this is dry now, so I'm going to take my glue and there we go, and stick it down. be a little careful with the wet glue make sure you spread it out well because you want it to stick but you don't want it to bubble too much either I'm not even squeezing the glue now I'm just spreading out what I've already popped 
button. So, let's move that a little bit out of the middle. Otherwise my mechanism will be getting stuck on that. Just use that. There we go. So another thing you can do to make sure uh, the glue's not too bubbly is if you place your card on but don't hold don't completely put down the edges and just twist it round a little bit like that and that actually then helps spread the glue out um, so it's not leaving it too bubbly underneath so making sure you've got clean hands this is where I often get a bit gluey stuck so um, just lightly Lightly press down. Like so. Okay, so I just leave that to dry a little bit. Okay, my clock's dry, so um, I've cut some, already dyed cut some large numbers out of black cards. You don't have to use large numbers, you can use smaller ones. Um, I just happen to have the large ones. So, And then you just start placing your numbers where you want them. I've got a little template here so I can um, tell where my numbers are going to go. these on um, I'll stick them down in a moment just spacing them all out for now One other thing uh, you also need to do before you pop your numbers on is um, just to make sure it's all tidy around the edge. So just trim it up and uh, if necessary give it a bit of um, sand with some sandpaper. Make it all uh, nice and tidy on the edge of the clock. Just placing the numbers for now. And so you can play around with the the size of the numbers. get a bit of uh, glue you can just use the rubber to get it off and put my number 11 down it with the large numbers. Um, I've also got some small numbers cut as well so I'll pop those on and see um, which I think I like. Bear with me. Okay so I've got my smaller numbers here so um, I won't pop all of them but you'll get the idea. So these are quite a bit smaller as you see um, from the others. But 
I think um, I think those work quite well to be honest so I think that I'm gonna stick with the smaller numbers and then uh, put a bit more of a focus then on the flower rather than the numbers um, overpowering the flower look at those so far they look much better on the clock so I'm going to pop those on I also want to ink around the edge a little bit so I'll do that now so there we go there's the vid uh, video there's the clock with uh, the numbers on I think that looks a lot better um, than than what it did 